we're still destructive, we're still killing each other for the sake of words. And it's quite amazing, including the Russian culture, at least that's my knowledge, in the Russian culture, you can get very upset about the use of words, and you can get very emotional in terms of how somebody has reacted to what you said. To put it in a positive way, you love to play with abstractions and concepts in Russia, and you love to express your emotions, which, by the way, is very French too. And that's why, historically speaking, there was some kind, good, good relationship between Russia and France, because you share that kind of, how can I say, value of the words and the abstractions and also the value of emotions. There, let me give you an example of a secret weapon, okay? Actually, I'm going to give you two. Secret weapon number one. It's what I call the either-or trap. Many people in negotiation, they will say, listen, it's either you say yes or we are both in deep trouble. What about all the other options? We say yes on this part, but not yes on that part. You go home in the evening and you tell your companion, darling, what do you want to do tonight? Do you want to go to see a movie or do you prefer to stay home and watch television? That's a trap. What about all the other options? We can go out with the dog, we can discuss an, an issue. In negotiation, it's a secret weapon. You put people in the either-or situation, which is manipulation. Let me give you another example of a secret weapon. The ability to say something without saying it. You say it, and yet you don't say anything. It's very powerful. Business school professors do it all the time. As soon as they get into a kind of a shaky ground, they will say, research shows. I'm not saying anything, it's the research, it's not me. Let me give you an example. Uh, an employee, this is a true story, an employee had one day a major problem with his boss, major. But he had a wife, he had kids, he had a mortgage, and he had a cat. Well, forget about the cat. So he had to be, he had to be careful, he couldn't afford to lose his job. But the job was, the boss was very powerful, so he didn't dare to say anything up front to the boss who was not acting in a very nice way, frankly. But one day, he got it. To say something without saying it. So you get the message out, but you limit the risk. That's negotiation. How did he do it? He went to his boss's office, knocked at the door. The boss was, manager was sitting behind his desk. He went straight to the boss and looking straight in his eyes, he said, you'll never guess what happened to me 20 minutes ago in the street. I was walking in the street. A guy came to me, looked at me straight in my eyes and said, you stupid. And then he left the office. And the boss said, there are stupid people in the street, eh? crazy people now there. To say, to say something without saying anything.